Plenty of sunshine out there today to soak in, and that comes with a reminder, you know what? Year round, wear sunscreen every single day. Sun exposure is no joke. And now we're talking about something that is being done to treat melanoma, really serious. Yeah, the serious F FDA diagnosis. just uh, approving a new treatment at our nine health expert, Dr. Palacoli, is now with more. So here in Colorado, of course, we feel like we have a higher risk of exposure to the sun and to melanoma. Tell us about what the FDA has approved and what we need to do. Yeah, the highest per capita risk of skin cancer of anywhere in the United States, which is the most common cancer. You know, we have less atmospheric protection, so more UV exposure. So we have to be really mindful of melanoma. And this is a real breakthrough because it's the first time we're using what's called cell-based therapy, meaning tricking our immune system to help us essentially fight cancer, which has not been done for solid tumors before. We've done it for leukemia, lymphoma, which are the liquid tumors, but it's a real breakthrough. So, I mean, we've talked a lot about skin, skin cancer. Kathy has too. When we talk about melanoma, though, some of these cases, I mean, we all know people that have died from melanoma. The deadliest skin cancer. And, and not only is it the deadliest, our treatment options are so limited, especially for melanoma that spreads. So that's where this therapy is really very cool and interesting because it does show pretty significant promising results in those patients that have metastatic melanoma. And essentially what it's doing, it's TIL stands for tumor infiltrating lymphocytes. So if you think about the tumor, it releases chemicals around it to prevent our immune cells from getting in and fighting it. But at the core of the tumor, there are already some immune cells that know how to fight, there's just not enough of them. Mm. So if you think about that Brad Pitt movie, Troy, do you remember there was right. a Trojan horse and he used that to get in and then all the soldiers kind of came out. So that's what this really is, is getting those soldiers into the cells. Ah. And the way they do that is by cutting the tumor out, harvesting those cells, multiplying billions of them. The good putting ones. The good ones, the ones that know how to fight the tumor. These tumor infiltrating lymphocytes, putting them back in. And that way it doesn't just help in that at that moment, but even for recurrence, because in the future, if you get microscopic tumor cells, your immune cells will know how to fight it. So, so is th this is to cure melanoma once you have it, it's not necessarily to prevent it? I wouldn't even say cure, Tom, that's a too strong a word at right. this point, it's to prevent progression. Okay. So once you have it, you don't get new lesions and what have you, but certainly this is not gonna prevent melanoma at this point. So take us through what happens. You, you've you discovered you have a melanoma, you then are physically uh, attacked the melanoma a bit, but then you are receiving injections, or one Just or a ten? No, single infusion. So you get the melanoma, you cut it out, you put it in the lab, and you magnify those cells that are inside, the good guys, the soldiers that know how to fight the melanoma. In the meantime, you give chemotherapy to the patient to wipe out their immune system so that you can then repopulate it with these cells, these soldiers that know how to fight the cancer. This takes days, weeks, months? It takes weeks. It takes up 12 weeks, sometimes longer. It's a single infusion. It costs $515,000. That's what I was dollars. Yep. And you think about infusing immune cells into someone, you could have an a immune storm. It's called a cytokine storm, where the immune system can really freak out, go crazy, and cause a lot of side effects. So it's a complicated therapy, but the idea of getting our immune cells and keeping our immune cells in there as surveillance soldiers to fight the cancer is really phenomenal. Do we know how successful this has been? 50%, 100%? Yeah, they had about half of people who didn't have progression of it. So it doesn't work for everyone. But what it's done, it's really opened the door of really kind of the different different solid tumors, breast cancer, lung cancer, colon cancer, bladder cancer, the other tumors that trick our immune system, that put the brakes on our immune system, really using our immune system to fight them again. And this is different from cancer vaccines, which we've talked about before, which is giving people you know, a vaccine that teaches their immune system how to fight, or something called CAR T cells, where you use good immune Heard cells and reprogram them. This is already using the immune cells that know how to fight, just making more of them. Well, it's all progress. Um, yeah, doesn't sound promising. like it's going to fit for everyone. It's super expensive, but, you know, every step is a step. So thank you, Dr. Coley. Uh, don't forget, you can always get Dr. Coley's advice at 9news.com slash Dr. Coley.